are some of the challenges that you overcame this year? Um, I think the biggest challenge was working with an agent from the east side of the state that wasn't, um, didn't really know the customary practices of real estate in West Michigan. And we have such different contracts that she really didn't know how to read ours. So that was kind of hard uh, hurdle to get over to, to uh, for her to see what the contract is like over here. Mm -hmm. Understand the contract. Uh, biggest thing over, I I guess I should say being nervous. I was always afraid to make mistakes. Now I know that when I make them, it's how you overcome them and learn from them that will make the next time even better. And I think I've learned how to gracefully make mistakes this year. How does it feel to finally get out and meet the clients that you're working for? Ooh, yeah, uh, I go into the house not knowing who they are. I know a name. You know, sometimes they don't really talk and sometimes they you know, chat me off while I'm trying to go around to work. You know, so. Do you like meeting them? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. So I think maybe that was a growth for you is meeting new people and yeah, having yeah. conversation with them. I'm usually a homebody, so I really don't go anywhere. Yeah. yeah. So it's like fun for you. Books and you know. Yeah. Play video games. What was the most interesting home you sold? Mm. They're all interesting. I can't pick one. They're, I love them all. I just love them all because they're all so different. That's the best thing about West Michigan real estate is that, you know, all, all the homes are different. Most interesting home. Well, we've had quite a few. I did particularly like um, the home on Lairway Lake. It just had old classical charm. And I, when I walked into that home, I could envision what it uh, could be. Not that it wasn't great before, but um, had a lot of wallpaper and a lot of things that could be updated. And it was just like a home that you could totally make your own. And that house was really cool. But um, another one that stands out to me is a friend's home that we have listed now. Um, it's out in the middle of it. It started as a pole barn home. And then as his family has grew, he's grown the house with it. And he's put some really good personal touches into it. And it's just a really unique home. But I love all of them. What was your like biggest aha uh -huh moment? Mm. What was other realtors now are finally taking me seriously and don't treat me as Michelle Gordon's daughter or they recognize me as Amanda Gordon, not Michelle Gordon's daughter, or they actually see me as an adult now, not just a child. What do you think your biggest growth was this year? Oh, uh, learning. Uh, this is my fourth year for the uh, the Gordon Group, and uh, you know, four years ago, I wouldn't match myself. You know, photographing houses or designing websites. So I'm um, learning is definitely the greatest growth for this, this year, hopefully for the next years to come. What was your biggest growth this year, do you think? Um, biggest growth, well, I kind of play a two-edged sword on our team. I would say in my office work, um, getting our systems down and set in place, I feel really confident. Uh, this year more than the past years about our systems and just being able to help our clients to our best of our ability, making sure they're always communicated with. And I feel like I really improved in that aspect this year. Um, on the sales side of things, um, I think I matched what I did last year plus some, which is really great. Um, and I hope to continue to improve in that. But I think really my full-time day-to-day job this year was a really good year of adjusting to pregnant brain, <laughs> um, soon to be mom brain, and just being able to balance kind of everything that was going on and finally got back into the groove after a whirlwind of life events. Honestly, working with my family. <laughs> it's hard working with family and I feel like you always, it's always learning and stuff like that, but I feel like this year was the best learning experience and it turned out for the better. What is your favorite area to sell? Favorite area to sell, probably in my own neighborhood, um, which is Ottawa Hills Historic District or the Lakeshore, because there's such different homes over there and you can't beat the view. What are you looking forward to? Um, for next year, uh, we're gonna have a new member on the team. She's currently in here. The, oh. Not the dog. <laughs> um, so I'm excited for that. I, it's kind of crazy because Michelle used to talk about how um, 
Amanda came out of the womb knowing real estate for the most part, and that would be cool to have my baby be a part of our team and a part of our little family. Um, we have a lot of exciting things coming for next year, so I'm excited for all of it, not just one certain thing. Where do you see yourself in a couple of years? A couple of years, still with my GG team. Uh, like I said, we're a little family here. Um, I hope to grow my sales business a little bit more, along with keeping my office work intact. Um, it's a lot to juggle, but I got it. I can do it. Uh, next few years for my personal life, I want to buy a new home and remodel it all over again. Um, business, I definitely want to double my business while keeping my strong relationships with my clients because most of my clients become my really good friends. And usually when realtors grow, they lose that that bond with them and I don't want to lose that. So that's my biggest goal. Hopefully with the Gordon Group, you know, fourth year, hopefully they haven't scared me off yet. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to stick with it. How is it to work with three other women? <laughs> you know, my mom, my mom raised me, so I didn't really have a dad. And I grew up with my older sister, and she was a typical older sister. You know, she bullied me all the day, so you know, I'm used to it. So you're saying that we're bullies? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I'm but she desensitized me to, uh, you know. <laughs> Working around women. Yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite part about Real Estate 2018? In 2018, my favorite part about real estate was um, the changes and the challenges. You know, we were status quo for about three years. Now, it was a very challenging status quo. We were all in a frenzy and everything was going fast. I like when the market changes, so we have to pick new strategies. We have to decide how we're going to list the house now. How are we going to help buyers write aggressive contracts now because everything changes. So this was a year of change and I really like that. What's your favorite part of your job? Favorite part of my job, there's many, but one thing that I love the most is being able to help um, people with this next chapter of their life. We help a lot of people, especially this year with um, life events like clients who've gotten married, moving to the bigger house, or past clients who need to downsize. Just a lot of really cool life event events you get to be a part of and just helping people. That's what I love to do best. What's your favorite part of the job? Favorite part, ooh. I wanna say photographing homes. Uh, was seeing how people live their lives, I not, not, you know, watching live their lives, but <laughs> you can tell how people live through the story of their home. You know, you see pictures, see how they stage their house. You know, I think it's a really fascinating thing to be able to witness. It's true. Houses, homes are very personal. Yeah. They are very personal. That's why it's better to have those instead of a condo or, or, or an apartment. Oh, because every day is different. You know, even when it's like a slow day, it's still crazy and I thrive on it and it's just great. Who's your favorite team member and why? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you gotta put that in there. <laughs> My favorite team member is Delilah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is Delilah. This is Amanda Gordon's uh, puppy and my grand puppy. And um, they now love each other. And we do love each other. We didn't used to love each other, but now we love each other. I think forming relationships sometimes <laughs> take work, whether it's with our dogs or our clients. And so... <laughs> so <laughs> always finds a way to bring it back to real estate. <laughs> I do always find a way to make it back to real estate. Um, you know what? Everything comes back to real estate. What was your favorite house you sold in 2018? My favorite house that I sold... Oh, you know what? My favorite house I sold in 2018 was the Rewaz. Um, it was such a challenge because I had talked to them eight years ago to list their home. Eight years ago, I talked to them and they weren't ready yet. They raised their children in that house. It was very um, close and near and dear to their heart. And um, they... It took a while for them to get the courage up to sell, and then they knew it was time. And one of the reasons is they didn't want to do the steps anymore. They needed something that was all one level. And it was, um, it took a lot of patience, it took a lot of time, but we had so much fun going out and looking at homes. And I think um, a lot of people who knew may think that I only do high end homes, and that's all I want to do. But 
I like the high-end homes, but I like all homes and I like all the challenges and I like the variety. And I built my business on low to moderate income homes and finding someone their new house after they live in their house for a very, very long time. We did a lot of that this year. We did a lot of that and we moved a lot of seniors this year and whether it be to another house or to their final you know, place that they're gonna stay forever. Um, to me, it was probably my favorite home because of the situations. I really, really enjoyed how I feel. I like, I like the deals where I feel like I am truly helpful. It's not the sale. I like knowing at the end of the day, we really helped somebody. I feel like that was our huge growth this year was our communication skills. We have gotten such awesome reviews this year. Um, my team has made me so proud this year. We've even had people compliment our marketing guy, Will, which we never hear about. And and when they think, you know, usually the marketing person's behind the scenes. When someone thinks enough to compliment the marketing team, then you know it's been extraordinary. Um, you know, Felicia is constantly getting mentioned in our reviews and that used to not happen. It just used to be, now people are getting called out. You know, people work with Amanda and they forget that I even exist and um, give Amanda great reviews. Uh, in December we of 2018, we closed more deals than we ever have in December and we are doing all of our catch up or cleaning up our customer relationship management uh, um, database. Um, we're doing a lot of other end year end things in being busier than we ever have been. And you wouldn't know that we're busy. No one would know it. No one's stressed, no one's arguing, other than the normal mother daughter stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but it, I mean, I think it's all come together this year. And I think we really, not I think, we rocked it. We rocked it this year and I'm looking forward to rocking it next year. I'm looking forward to um, some changes next year in 2019. We're gonna have some great changes. We're gonna have some great news. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to our growth and to much more success and helping a lot more people. Anything else you wanna add? I think I just did that. Yeah. Did. <laughs> Here we go. I like to add that I like to talk. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything else you wanna add? Okay. Okay. You know, four more years. I'll see where I am. Okay. I just want to thank all my clients from 2018. You guys made my year.